George Kilpatrick, Inspiration for the Nation, celebrating people that we feel good about. Steve Becker is with Premier Promotions, and he's helping out a great series of jazz coming up in the queues. First, we got something to tell you about that's happening this Wednesday, July 11th, and then later on in the month, the Northeast Jazz and Wine Festival. Steve, good to talk to you. We should call him Stereo Steve. Oh, boy. Thank you, George. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right so steve what's going on uh we've got jazz in the city uh our third installment coming up this wednesday That's right we have six of them and this is going to be our third one it's going to be at the syracuse community health their new building right at 9 30 south salina street gorgeous building but we'll be in the parking lot right behind the building and we'll be all set up there we have the double base experience and uh they are chart toppers. They have been on Billboard uh, top uh, number one. And, uh, you know, it's set from six to nine. We're going to have two top one. Uh, yeah, double bass uh, experience. They have been chart toppers on the Billboard uh, jazz charts for the last couple of years. And they're going to be there absolutely free uh, uh we're gonna have c jack run kick everything off at six o'clock and then uh double bill experience will be on at seven they'll do two sets up until nine o'clock uh remember one of the reasons that we can do this now and we gotta pay uh, a lot of um uh, you know how shall i say um appreciation to the syracuse community health uh, they have been our uh, title sponsor for the last few years. Uh, a lot of people in the neighborhoods we go into don't have health care. And now we'll be right there at their new building, and they will be there along with other health organizations and such. Uh, we'll have arts and crafts there. We have some food vendors, including Johnny G Barbecue. we got D&G Mac and Cheese, and we'll have Skippy's Ice Cream. So... You know, you come out and bring your lawn chair, you know, have a little fun, get ready to do a little dancing and such. And, uh, you know, this is uh, coming up July 11th. That's a Thursday. And, again, it runs from 6 to 9, absolutely free. Yeah, it is a Thursday. I don't don't know why I said Wednesday. It is is a Thursday, and uh, it's from 6 to 9, and there's lots of goodies and lots of vendors. Uh, in each one of these neighborhood jazz programs, by the way, I'm uh, in, I'm partnering uh, with the Jazz in the City group to use my voice to help amplify the importance of people coming out and getting, uh, whether their blood pressure screened uh, or just getting health information, Rural Metro, not Rural Metro, AMR. Boy, that's dating myself. AMR, right. <laughs> AMR will be there and AMR is there to to provide backup support well they were all the big festivals anyway but uh but the community health they take your blood pressure they give you information and they were always let me tell you something steve they were always on my case it's like well you need to relax you need to make sure you're taking your pressure and yep i wish i i you know for for this one i'll be i'll be visiting but uh, i won't be able to attend this one but the thing is Steve, I, I want them to know that my la- I was at a conference recently and I had my blood pressure checked and it was good. So there, so I am taking care of myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's they, so important, so important. It, it it really is, and we we we've been doing this for a few years now, and it's oh, yeah. always good to see people taking advantage, um, for taking advantage of the opportunity. Uh, to get a uh, screen sometimes. Uh, there are prizes that people can get for taking their blood pressure. But look, this is an opportunity for you to come out, not only, uh, I guess what Larry calls it, a party with a purpose, right? It is a, <laughs> and we had, and by the way, uh, we had a great time at um, at Blodgett with at Skitty Park oh. with with the with the with the Latin jazz it was just great. Uh, and we had the, the dancers. So come out and have a good time. It's always yeah. a good vibe. Uh, and that's again this Thursday, 11, July 11th, 
six to nine. The address is, is it 930 South Salina Street? 930 South Salina. And we also want to say thank you to our presenting sponsor, Community Bank, as well as Lead Safe CNY. That's uh, Latoya Jones. And it's very important as part of the United Way. And we know that there has been challenges in our community about lead. And they are there to try to really inform families, uh, especially with young kids and all, of how they need to get this information. And we want to thank LaToya United Way with Lead Safe um, CNY. They are our stage sponsor. And uh, we have another several. We're going to be uh, August 18th in uh, Schiller Park with AAPI uh, Jazz Collective. And, uh, you know, that is a very interesting group. They're out of New York City. And they are essentially Asian. That's what that stands for. I was going to say, uh, my first clue was AAPI. (laughs) But what they do is they take traditional Asian songs and give it a jazz theme. Right. So, you know, people that are living, when we go to Schiller, a lot of people are international in that neighborhood. Right. So they come out and enjoy themselves because you're going to hear traditional Asian songs. But really a new spin on it, you know? And again, uh, we have these goodie bags we give out at each one. Then when we go, and this is the big one, you know, Atlas was fantastic when we kicked it off at Leavenworth. But then on August 8th, we got (laughs) the legendary black lights. So wait a minute, August, so you have July 11th at at the community. And then it's August 18th at Schiller. At Schiller, okay. Right. It's a little bit different this year. We used to go every other week, but, you know, we get our bandwagon through the parks and rec. So we scheduled it so we would be able to have, you know, the bandwagon. So the two that we had in July uh, July are back to back and the same thing in August. And as I was about to say, we have the black lights, you know, and that's going to be very, very good. And Um, and that's on August 8th. That is on August 8th at Duncan Bright. At Duncan Bright. And uh, we usually will get well over a thousand people come out for that. You've been there. That's usually, that's like more, that's one of the biggest that you have. Yes, sir. Yeah, it really is. Definitely. Between that and you have Leavenworth is is usually big. And and then you have, um, so now Atlas is going to be at Thorndon? No, we already had Atlas at Leavenworth. At Leavenworth, they kicked right. everything off. They did. Back I don't on know what, June thirteenth. You, we, I know I that because I was there. there? I yeah, you yeah. There. You, I, you think I wasn't there? I was actually there, and I was on the yeah, stage. And there, I introduced. You up, listen, you were up on the stage. <laughs> listen, I introduced them when you. I, I know. Meant to say, I meant to say the black lights on August eighteenth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, August eighth will be the black lights, and uh, from what I understand. Uh, Mayor Walsh will be there with a special proclamation for the Black Lights. All right, so who, so you now you got me on who's on first. Who's coming on August 18th? On August 8th, you got the Black Lights, and then it's August 15th, will be Art Sherrod Jr., saxophonist, and mm-hmm. Lynn Roundtree, who's a trumpeter. And right. they play together, and again, top, top shelf. Uh, performers on billboard uh, charts and such, and that will be at Thornton Park, right Thank by the you. swimming pool area. You got me. You th- all right? So I'm not gonna. I I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. All right, we got August. <laughs> <laughs> August fifteenth is the last is the last jazz in the city at Thornton Park, and we want to see you there in the place to be, doing the do. Now, quickly, Steve. Um, uh, I have one minute left. Tell me about Northeast Wine and Jazz Festival. Northeast Wine and Jazz Festival, we have a different model. Normally, Clinton Square, we're moving a few blocks down south where it's going to be indoor, outdoor. We'll be inside the Landmark Theater. And then outdoor, we're going to have a block party right on the street that uh, adjoins uh, Landmark, which will be Jefferson Street. Jefferson Street. Salina. And Clinton, we will close it down. We'll have food vendors there. We got another stage. 
Our main stage will be inside. And on Saturday, July 27th, our headliner will be the Family Stone. Remember Sly? And the Family, Family Stone. Stone. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. That place is going to be – people will be dancing in the aisles for that. And then on Friday night, <clears throat> our, our, our feature is um, uh, Shana Steele. She's been on Broadway. Uh, she's been in Rent, uh, Revival of Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, she has played with uh, a lot of performers like Bette Midler, Rihanna. Uh, she's going to be at the, uh, uh, the um, Jazz Fest out in California. All, and, right. Uh, All right, so Steve, wrap it up with the dates, time, and place. Okay, Friday. July 26th and Saturday, July 27th, Northeast Jazz and Wine Festival. Remember, it's absolutely free. Come on out. Enjoy. It's going to be a great time. Steve Becker, Premier Promotions, Jazz in the City and the Northeast Jazz and Wine Festival. Steve, what a pleasure it is. And listen, it's going to be a hot time in the queues for this summer. We're so glad uh, that we have so many great options. See us at the Syracuse it. Community Health July 11th and then at the Northeast Wine and Jazz Festival. George Kirkpatrick, Inspiration for the Nation. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, George.